Hey guys and welcome back to another video here with Angel Bee Designs. If you are new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. What we're going to do in today's video is we are going to do, um, I don't know if y'all can see that because it's far away. We're going to do uh, rhinestone decals. So you can make these for pretty much anything. I do have a video on my channel where I was using this material which is called the Bling Anything. I was using this material to do a tumbler. Um, with hot fix rhinestones so check out my content if you want to see that video but the this is basically like a sticker I am making this for my Cricut machine um, but you can put these pretty much anywhere so it's like a rhinestone sticker and um, we're using the same method that we would use to put on the shirt except instead of putting it on a shirt or a sweatshirt or whatever the fabric is you would put it on the blank anything material and then that creates the sticker and then you can put it on your car or whatever you want to do with it so we are going to be making some decals for my Cricut machine today if any and if you want to learn how to use the blink anything material with the hot fix rhinestones go ahead and stick around all right so i do have my flock cut out now i did try something different this time um <clears throat> i took the backing off and i put it on a green mat i'm trying to see if you know i can pull this up in one peel where all the holes stay on the mat so and i did use the 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 flock setting iron on setting that i created with more pressure so let's see here so there's still some dots I mean this is a it's okay it's not there's still a lot of dots being left so I don't know I don't know why I just can never seem to I'm gonna use my little brayer tool um to see if I can't get the the dots to stay down um but I just cannot seem to get any type of cut setting to where all of my dots stay. So, nope, they're still coming up. So, what I'm going to do is while I'm peeling it up, I'm just going to take my tweezers and I'm just going to peel the dots that are not coming up. I mean it's better so it's not as many that are being stuck but it's still not you know a clean pull all the way which is what I am trying to accomplish I want all of my dots to stay so I just feel like I'm just not going to be able to accomplish this with my Cricut um I do have a silhouette cameo uh, pro the 24 inch one that I'm just literally not using um, and AJ from um, Kingdom touches told me to or she uses she has one too and she uses hers for cutting rhinestone flock so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and set mine up Cause it's not it's not even I mean I, like I have it it's just not set up or plugged up or anything like that so I think one of these days I'm gonna go ahead and set it up and uh, start cutting my rhinestone flock with that and see if I can't get you know better cuts because like sitting here having to pull like these little dots out every time it's just it's so tedious I'm trying to completely cut this step out of my you know <clears throat> rhinestone projects 100% so I don't have to do it anymore and I just can't seem to get my Cricut to cut these dots all the way through Let 
no matter what I do. Almost finished here. Gotta, this is the um, the last template. I'm just getting the little dots out. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I also I, I need to get a table for it. My um, my cameo pro. That's really what it is. I need to get a table for it. Okay. So here's our template here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on a piece of cardstock. That's just how I do mine. Um, I did show this in my previous video, but I'll show you again. I just have a, this is a cardstock little pack or whatever I bought for nickels. And I just put mine on the back of some cardstock. like that and then I'm gonna go ahead and trim it um, and I can save this piece of cardstock right here so I'm not gonna get rid of that <clears throat> I'm just gonna trim the edges and I'm gonna keep this one long piece as well just because I don't I don't want to have four smaller pieces and it's I think they're spaced pretty far enough apart to where I can control the rhinestones because these are all going to be different, you know, different colors. So I feel like the they're far enough apart to where I can keep one color here, one color here. If you feel like you can't, then you would just trim it right in between the pieces and then you'll have four different pieces. However you want to do it. It's just personal preference. Okay, so here is my template. It's all set, ready to go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab my stones and I will come back and we'll brush them in. All right, so I have my stones here. Um, I am going to be using the neon hot fix rhinestones. I have green, orange, uh, yellow, and blue, and these are all SS10s. Um, I do get my rhinestone from Eve at the baby's booty. That is her the name of her YouTube channel. She does buy-ins once a month on all her rhinestones. Um, I will leave a link to her store down below. I'm not exactly sure when the next buy-in is, but you can go onto her website and you'll be able to see when the next buy-in starts and ends there once a month. Um, but these are the colors I'm going to be using. I'm just going to go ahead and brush them all in. I'll record that part, but I'm just going to speed it up just because I don't want to make this video too long. Um, but yeah, I'm going to brush this in and then we're going to get started with our bling anything material so that we can turn this into a sticker. Alrighty, so I have all my stones brushed in. I am going to be using my um, Easy Press today to do this project, but this is the um, the uh, the bling anything material here. So basically, this is what turns the hot fix rhinestones into a sticker. So normally, you have your hot fix rhinestones, and uh, those go on you know um like on a shirt so you use the the glue adheres to the fabric or the shirt or whatever it is you're pressing it to and then that's how the hot face rhinestones get onto your fabric so to turn it into a sticker we're basically going to press it 
onto the shiny side of this material and it has an adhesive backing so once i'm done i'm going to peel the backing off and that's going to basically make you know turn it into a sticker or a decal okay so um so what i'm gonna do i have and this is also my mask that i'm gonna use to pick up the the rhinestones as well now i'm not that good at layering so i'm gonna do four different presses um and i'm gonna cut off a piece here and i don't need that big of a piece that should be good and then we are going to trim it, you know, once we're all done. So when you use the, this is the Bling Anything material, and I did get this from the Rhinestone World. There's a shiny side, and there's a matte side. Okay? We're going to press it onto the shiny side. Alright, so, well, the first thing I need, I need to do is pick up some of my rhinestones here. So I have my mask, a piece of my mask. And I'm going to start with the yellow and I'm just, oh, see what I did? I messed it up. I picked up two of the stones by accident. I dropped it. But that's okay. I'm just going to go ahead and place these back with my wax stick. Thankfully, it was only two rhinestones I messed up. Otherwise, I would have had to rebrush in the whole thing. Okay, there we go. So I'm just going to place it down like that. Brush it over with my finger and then we're going to pick it up. Alright, so there is our first layer. Move that out the way and then... We're just going to place it down right onto our bling anything material. Just like that. Okay. Then I'm going to take my, my easy press and I'm just going to press this. I'm going to press this for about 10 seconds. Just be just to get the rhinestones to tack down because I still have to do multiple more presses. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, some two of those rhinestones didn't stick. Um, let's see. I was looking for a shirt to press it down because it's hot. Give me one second. <laughs> Excuse me. Jesus. Just want to make sure that all the rhinestones are stuck down. And then I'm going to peel it in a downward motion. Nope, some of these stones are not sticking. So I'm going to press it again. For about another 10 seconds. And I'm applying a little bit more pressure. Okay. Because you really want to make sure those rhinos are down. Those rhinestones are stuck down. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. Alright, let's see. Okay, so they all stuck down that time. So here's our first layer. That looks really dark. There's not a whole lot of light in here. And my camera won't focus. Okay. Okay. Sorry, y'all. I had to fix my camera. But there's our first layer on our sticker. Okay. 
Now we're going to press the next layer here. Um, which is going to be this blue one. We're just going to push it down. Use our thumb. So get them up. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and lift it up. Okay, so the second one is going to go right I believe it goes right here. Or maybe it doesn't. Maybe it goes here because I wasn't looking right. Nope, it goes right here. So the blue piece is going right here next to the yellow. And you're really just going to lay it like, like an actual puzzle piece just like that. Okay? And then I want to protect the stones that I already put down. So I'm just going to cover this with a piece of parchment paper just because there was a couple little exposed yellow stones and I don't want to mess those up. And then I'm going to do 15 second press. My easy press is set to 310 degrees with medium pressure. This uh, material is hot. All right, and then we're just going to peel in a downwards motion like that. Beautiful. All right, the next piece, some of my green stones moved out of place here. I'm just going to use my wax stick to put them back. And then we're going to pick up the green piece. And I'm still using the same piece of transfer tape. I'm not getting a new one because it um, it still sticks. Now you can, if you're good at, the, um, at um, using the parchment paper to layer it and do it in one press, you could absolutely do that as well. I'm just not good at that. All right, and there's our green piece. Same thing, just going to cover it. And then we're going to do a 15 second press, medium pressure. And then when we're all done, we're going to trim it with the scissors and then we'll have our sticker. This is actually super, super easy. You just need the, um, the bling anything material, which like I said, I did get from the rhinestone world. All right. And then I'm just going to use my shirt here. Oh, it's hot. Make sure all the stones are pushed down. And then we're going to peel in a downwards motion. There's our third piece. And then we got one more. And orange. You guys, don't forget to follow me on social media. I will leave everything linked down below. Um, where I got, uh oh, where I got my materials. Um, oh, excuse me. 
Oops, one did not pick up. Where I got all of my materials, um, the links to my the links to my social media. This one does not want to come up. Everything will be linked down below for you guys. This little orange one does not want to go on this transfer sheet. Okay, there we go. Oh my goodness, this one orange stone is like, I will not. It does not want to go onto this mask at all whatsoever. I'm just going to place it. No, that does not look right. All right, y'all, I will be right back. I'm going to grab some more stones and fix this. You see the little holes? I'll be right back. Okay, so I did go ahead and press the final layer, and here's the outcome. Now, I haven't cut it or anything yet. I've just been letting it cool off after... Um, I press the last layer you do want to wait until it's nice and cooled off before you go to cut it just because you don't want any of your stones to start to come off so all we're gonna do now is we're just going to we're just gonna cut around it cut around the stones don't get too close to the stones because it'll they will start to pop off so just gonna cut around it When you peel the backing off of it, um, hold on, I forgot to mute this. When you peel the, uh, the backing off, the clear, it, it's, um, it's going to be clear. So any of the, uh, the, the bling anything material, you're, you're really not going to be able to see it once you place it on your, you know, whatever you're putting it on. I'm going to put mine on my Cricut and you shouldn't be able to like if you were to put this on a car window or something like that um you definitely shouldn't be able to see that material because it's pretty pretty see-through pretty clear when you take the backing off i'm just trying to get as close as i can without actually touching the stones all right That's so pretty. I want to put this on my Cricut. So let's go on over there. All right. So we are over here at my Cricut machine. I did make one for TikTok. So I'm going to put this one on the other side. And we're literally just going to weed the backing off like you would any you know other um kind of like adhesive material we're just going to weed the backing off and then if you can see that makes it really really clear And then we're just going to go ahead and stick it on there. Now this bling anything material does get really, really sticky. Um, or it is really, really sticky. 
so once you place it it's pretty much there that's pretty crooked but that's okay I don't care and my thing still opens so cool all right and there is our rhinestone decal I had a few like a stone here I hit it with my nail and it came off um but yeah these are super cute all right but that's all I have for this video guys thank you so much for watching and I do have a video where I did this too this is also the exact same material um that I did the top of my Cricut machine with um I just used the bling anything the blue glitter HTV and the aquamarine rhinestones and there is a video on my channel of me actually I think I did this on live um so there's a live on my channel where I did the um top of my Cricut machine so definitely check out my channel if you want to see that but that's all I have for this video guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share subscribe all that good stuff everything will be linked in the description box below until next time bye